And there we are. All right, let's let everybody know that I'm out there on TikTok. So, uh, yeah, go over and watch the gameplay. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got Mike, Mikey here. Oh, I'm calling Dr. Friedlander. Doc. Yo, hey. Aiden. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book, and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. <laughs> Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? That's right. I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Maybe I need to go see Dr. Friedlander. Let's do a uh, let's do a Friedlander m mission. There we go. There's there's a cab right there. I'll go ahead and grab that. Oh wait, no, there's nobody in that cab. Yeah, while well, driving a taxi, I know I can do whatever the hell I want. Uh, Amanda, too soon to bring up tennis? <laughs> I'm not getting another coach anytime soon. <laughs> too too soon to bring up tennis. Uh, soon I'm not getting a coach anytime soon. Uh, so I need someone to play with. Where my grip is getting loose. Yeah, your grip is loose. You know what? It was funny. In Brazil, some dude actually dressed up like a tennis coach and came in trying to give me uh, trying to give me grief, you know, like that. It was a pretty funny little bit that we ended up doing. So that was kind of fun. Uh, okay. Hang up on Amanda. Michael, you bought that court but never use it. My grip has Ball control is deaf and proof. Coach 5 is hard on me. <laughs> All right. Let's call the cab. Hey, man, what's up? All right. Yeah, I need a cab as soon as you can. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Cool. Let's go to uh, Friedlander here. I'll set my waypoint for Friedlander. Let's see what's up with the Friedlander, man. Oh, and you guys got to let me know how we're doing as far as lagging and everything. If I need to, uh, if I need to adjust, if I need to adjust my uh, settings. So, can I say... Can you say hello to Milo for one of my friends, please? Yeah, hey Milo. Highly illogical that somebody would want me to say hello to Milo, but okay. We'll do it. Where's this cab? There, there's one. Let's go get that guy. Pacific Lux. Get there fast. Alright, brother, here we are. Freelander. I always like to steal his car, blow it up, do something. Do you stream on Twitch? No, not yet. Not yet. Right now I'm just doing it here because you know what? This software is much easier to use. And, uh, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing it. Plus I got, I got, you know, two and a half million or so followers on TikTok, so... Playing as Michael, that's amazing. I'll play as all of them. I'm not just going to play as Michael. But uh, I'm going to do a full playthrough. And, uh, alright, let's go in and see what Freelander has to say. So these Freelanders... Come thanks. in, Michael. I'm going to pause thanks, this for Tom. just a second. The, the Freelander deal... I remember when we were shooting... Uh, we were at lunch, right? And all of a sudden, uh, I think it was Michelle came up to me and handed me, like, script, like this big. She said, we're going to shoot this after lunch. And it was the Freelander stuff. <laughs> so I had to learn, like, a bazillion Freelander scenes, uh, cut scenes and, and everything over lunch. So that was fun. And then I would learn them like right before we shot them and stuff like that. And oh my God, that was crazy. But anyhow, I'm going to get off of this Instagram live right now. You guys head on over to uh, TikTok and, and check it out. All right, now I can focus.
Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and play it on out. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. <laughs> I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I... I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> oh, my, my daughter. Son. My wife, wife. Especially oh, my wife. Especially her. And they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? <sighs> I ain't been a good boy, Doc. <laughs> I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top, and then I lose my shit and I hurt people, and then I feel bad about it. I, I, I'm a fucking prick. <laughs> Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. Oh my God, Freelander is amazing. Hey, look at that little puppy. Woo! Hmm. <laughs> oh, I got to pick here. Reject advice, accept. What should I do, reject or accept? so bad okay no nope, too late and what about your sexual behaviors i've been a really good boy doc really good not one problem i'm glad to hear that hey ryan really eaton from michigan what's Keep up working it this is great i just ain't myself right now doc not since my life went crazy you're plainly addicted to chaos well i'm not sure that's, that's true, true. <laughs> i'm not exactly enjoying myself here <laughs> you know what i'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. True to the life. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. I'm pretty average for this town, really. <laughs> That's the shot. That's it. I got it. I, 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 I think I'm having a breakthrough, break break here, Doc. This, 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 this. I say, no, no, I know. Okay. I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. Oh, my God. See you next time. Okay. <laughs> he always leaves so unfulfilled. It's like, come on, Doc, what the hell, man? The autosave pause menu option is currently turned off. Yeah. So, that's that. Uh... Is it weird to hear my own voice? No, not really. I, I hear my own voice all the time. But, uh... Michael, my money, where is it? You do not want me to visit you again. Next time will be so much worse. Uh... Yeah, my cab. My cab just took off, didn't it? That's alright. You know what I'll do? I'll just take... 
I'll just take Freelander's car. I quit it. Yeah, I'll crash it too. Yeah, let's beat the shit out of Freelander's car. You got lucky, buddy. I hate that fucker, Freelander. Let's wreck this pretty boy's car. Alright, that's good enough. Alright, so. That was the first Friedlander uh, deal. Oh, I gotta get over to the other side. But let's go. Uh, let's go do a mission. Boom! Take that Friedlander. I said this before on, the, on one of the other two. I don't know, but I my car is online. On GT Online, they're all, you know, they're all just completely gooched up. Like, they're, you know, they got all the good shit going on. And they handle so, so well. So when you go to play story mode, you know, and you just jump in a car, and the way they handle is so much worse compared to, you know, what you're used to. But anyway, here, let's see what's, uh, what's happening here. Where can I go? Hey, there's a Stranger and Freaks thing right there. Oh, my God. Is that going to be what's-her-face? Hey, let me know. Am I lagging at all? I got new internet out here in the in the studio, so I'm hoping that I'm not lagging. No, 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 no. No lag. All right, good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Let's go see what's up here, wherever it is I'm going here. A little Stranger and Freaks episode here. I don't remember all my Strangers and Freaks. This could be... Oh, this is down by the beach. I bet you this is uh, Marianne or whatever her name is. That crazy... Uh... <laughs> Man, she was so good. I mean, she played this thing out like she was just a crazy person, man. Just all around. Uh-oh. Maybe that's... Oh, I got to go up here. That's right. All right. Fuck. Let's get out of Freelander's car here. I think I can go up these stairs. I love the, the NPCs, they drive, they walk by there in the middle of a conversation. You know, like, if I wanted to stop and walk by them, I could hear that whole conversation. It's pretty cool. The the detail in, in this game and in the non-playable players and all that kind of stuff is, you know, is really amazing. Sorry, dude. Excuse me. Also, like, I think you can just talk to guys if you hit this button. Buddy, what's up? <laughs> yeah, buddy, what's up? All right, what do we got going here? Is that her? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Hey, dude, what's up? Crazy lady. Message for me, get off your fat ass. I see this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you. And no, I don't care that I'm 39 and single. It doesn't worry me a bit. Oh, <laughs> I'm not stressed out at all. Now go fuck yourself. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Just fuck oh, you. Oh, my all of God. You. I'm on a run. Mm. Well, you seem a little upset. I could still run you into the fucking ground. <laughs> okay. Hey, I played high school football, all right, sweetheart? All state, QB. Whatever. Just don't have a coronary. Let's go! Ha, whoa! 
All right. Okay, man boobs, race you to the beach. Everybody what calls me man boobs. Man boobs, sugar tits. For cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Although that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I'm not angry! I'm exercising! Go, Mikey, go! You're going the right way? Uh oh, I missed the god dang it, I missed the thing. Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those. Cut it too sharp. That's some bullshit. Come on. All right, let's go. I'm coming. I'm still gonna beat her, even though I missed those two turns. How's my stamina doing? All right. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Watch that guy. Get out of the way. How much farther do I have? All right, turn on the jets. Here we go. Come on, go get her. Go get her. Too early. Last explosion Oh my God, I'm dying. Issues, but you, you give me hope. I own you. My shrink's office is right near here. If you want to work through some, my oh action. my god, you're a walking advertisement for therapy. Come on, don't run out of gas. No, yes! <laughs> That's what I'm went too hard at the top. Than sex. Eh, yes! Shut up, bite me, testosterone. <laughs> Race lost. <laughs> All right, let's beat her again. Let's beat her this time. I gotta pace myself okay, a little bit here. Boobs, race you to the beach. I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. It's running. How much gear do you need? I feel like I'm being chased by my creepy uncle. Yeah, if your uncle was the same age as you, you mean? Let's cheat. Oh, that would explain a lot. Fuck you! Why are you so angry? I can't believe you're cheating already! Stay on the path! <laughs> I can hear you leaving! Oh, look who it is! The man who can't stay on the path! Fucking shit! You have such a joy for life! Run on the road! Take that traffic head on! Yeah, I could have guessed you were one of those! And space is yours! Own it! Screw you, I'm running here. All right. So time, to, time to turn it on. There's only a few more. I like to start running harder. You know, why am I running in in jeans you and, and boots? You broke my cadence, you fucking moron. Shut up, man. Shut up. You're overcompensating. You make me feel well enough. All right, here we go. Final kick. The failed jock. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here we go. Last push. Come on. Click the switch, Marianne. Let's go last. I thought I had issues, but you, you give me hope. I own you. My shrink's office is right near here if you want to work through some of that shit. Yeah, because you're a walking advertisement for therapy. Sorry about the Neanderthal. Go, Mikey. Go, Mikey. We got for those people. Yeah. Take that, Marianne. Oh, not too shabby, huh? Totally null and void. I have annihilated you if you hadn't taken that shortcut. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw <laughs> you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! 
All right, mission passed. Expand only 50% because I sucked. On the first one. Oh well, that's life. I wonder if I can hit her. I need that bike. <laughs> Give me that bike. Well, teacher. All right. Let's find a mission. You know what? Let's change to uh, Franklin. Let's see what Franklin's up to. I'm drunk. I ain't getting drunker. I'm out of here before you take advantage. That's why I don't respect wrong rules. All right. Let's see what Franklin's got going here, missions wise. Man, my controller's kind of not. Gotta sharpen up the shooting skills, Franklin. Your boy can drive already. He doesn't need to sharpen that up. All right, let's see if I can see some of these uh, comments here. Follow the live, share the live, blue arc on top, Franklin driving. Okay, let's hold him right there. All right, so let's take some uh, pictures here. Oh, look at Check my private video. Nudes in, in my bio. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm sure you're a cow. Uh, this makes me want to play story mode again. Kev, play it again, man. I guarantee you, you missed a million things when you played it before. Even if you played it three, four, five times, you still have missed a ton of them. So, you know... Someone's fanning out. Who is that? Candelicious is fanning out. Um, yo, Ned, what's up? I haven't seen you in a while, Arthur Morgan. Yeah, well, I haven't been playing it. Uh, what is this? Do I like Steven? Yes, I like Steven. Steven's my brother. Good dude. How the Simeon fight scene was made. Well, it was, uh, you know, it was, uh, what do you call it? Uh, stunt fighting. Oh, it's this red dot over here. Let's go get this. Let's go get this red dot. What do we got here? I like these little dots. You get a red dot, blue dot, that kind of stuff, like as you're driving around. What we got here? Don't shoot! I'm, I'm just a lowly agent. I playing here. Hand it over. I didn't do anything to you. Please. Do you want to die over this, bitch? I owe you big. I can get you corkers tickets. All right. Well, I'll teach him. Oh, I gotta get his money too. Shit. Alright, so let's continue on to the, uh, to the deal. Ned, have you streamed GTA Online? Not yet, but I'm going to. Uh, right now I'm just doing this 10th anniversary playthrough. It's kind of fun. Shout out, Alfie. Uh, how you doing, man? What's life like now? Crazy. We just got back from Brazil. It was nuts. Solo and I went to, uh, Brazil to go to the Brazil game show. Dude, it was crazy. I mean, and when I say crazy, I mean it was like crazy fun. We had so much fun. Are the Chinese coming after our illegal drugs now too? Epsilon isn't still growing and still popular. Drops. The transit authority announces another project 
All right, I'm going to go to multi-guest right here and allow requests from the viewers. You get, like, the, the video thing or anything, but at least you get, you know, you get to come in. So, let's see what we got here. How about... Connor Netherland. Connor Netherland, come on in. Chinese criminal organizations have entered the U.S. illegally in you there? with a view to infiltrate the North American drug market. Connor? Despite recent controversies, including a court case and Connor Netherland. Of being okay, I got your picture up here, more and more but uh, are you're not seeing anything, so the I guess you're out. The Los Santos -based religion that has been Let's bring somebody else in. How about accused of everything from charlatanism Nate. And to slavery and prostitution Nate, let's try you. At a promotional event at the uh -oh. Theater in Vine, uh -oh. a spokesman told us, "This is an American you there? and an American success story. Unlike yeah. most American businesses, are you there? We hey, and we what's up? We should be praying. All right, well that's cool. That's cool. What are you doing? Santos Transit Authority announced funding for a prospective new streetcar project to the tune of sixteen billion dollars. Rails will run on popular streets. Well, you sound like you're pretty excited to get in here, so that's good. And promise to move traffic up to three miles per hour. What's that? Faster than current gridlocked conditions. Capilavoro. I gotta turn down the. Classic. The typified. I gotta turn the radio off so I can hear you guys. But music, you'll want to protect. All right, Nate left. He just wanted to come in and say they love me. That's nice, Nate. Thanks, buddy. I get Appreciate it. Than any of you fools, you ain't never been high. All right, Kyla, aka Kai, you out there? Love your ride, hon. And then let's bring in. Uh, Let's bring the one in also. The one what? I don't know. All right, Kayla, uh, Kyla, a.k.a. Kai, you in there? I'm here. All right. Yeah, what's happening? It. What about you, the one? Are you in? Yo, what's up? Hey, all right. Don't walk all over each other. Nothing. I'm just playing this mission. And uh, I'm going to go from there. I just, I just want to say I've been playing story mode. For so long, I'm on my tenth playthrough. Your tenth playthrough? Good lord! Yes. <laughs> Damn. I love it. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's cool. I think I've played it on all the different uh, platforms. I've probably played it about six or seven times. I think I probably, you know, I mean, I did PS3 first, then I did PS4, then I did PS5. I had Xbox 360, Xbox One. Xbox X, that's six right there. PC makes seven. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know. What about you, the one? What's your real name? Uh, Preston. Russell? No, Preston, Preston. Oh, Preston. Yeah, yeah. All right, dude. So, uh, how many times you played it? I played it, like, once or twice. I tried to believe it. It's so loud. You tr you, wait a minute. You tried to beat it? Yeah. You mean get 100%? Yeah. Yeah, it takes, it takes forever to get 100%, dude. Mm -hmm. You got to, I mean, you got to grind like crazy to get 100%. How long, how long was the, like, voicing? And how long did it take? Uh, it took us about three and a half years to do the game, to shoot the game. But you know what? Wasn't just voice. We did all the motion capture. You know, let's, let's pause this for a second. We did all the motion capture, you know, so the, uh, you know, our faces, our bodies, our, our voices, obviously. And uh, so everything you see, Michael and, you know, everybody do in the uh, cut scenes and whatever are, you know, that's us. That's that's our voice, our body, our faces, you know, the whole deal. Uh, stunts, we did a lot of stunts. We did, you know, it, because it's motion capture. Like Roger likes to call it, and, and I, a lot of people now are calling it uh, performance capture, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was about three, three and a half years worth of that. 104 hours. 
about 104 hours in the mocap, I mean, in the uh, voice booth. So we did voice acting as well. A lot of times when you see those scenes, like, I mean, y'all probably know the hipster scene where, where I call yeah. Trevor a hipster, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that whole thing, the Polito score, I think that was in, that was all voice acting in the booth, right? Because we're driving to a mission. You're, you're controlling it. Nice hat. I like the hat. I like the gifts, man. What are these gifts they keep giving? I like those little things, the hats, the, you know, whatever. That's all cool stuff. Keep them coming. Anyway, uh, you know, that was all voice acting. We're in the booth. And we weren't even in the booth at the same time. Steven did all his lines, and I came in and laid my lines over what he did, which to me, I would have rather we have been in the booth together because we would have played off of each other instead of his lines being carved in stone. You know, he would have been able to change, you know, the way he delivered something based on how I did, you know, rather than me just having to do off of whatever he had already done. So, yeah. That you know, I, it, it, and I think it would have been better, even funnier than it was. But regardless, it was a very funny scene. But anyhow, that's there's your answer. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, Kyla, aka yeah. Kai, what you got? What do you got? Question. Um, I just want to say, you know, <laughs> this is awesome. Girl, My son actually all that I can do. when he was ten yeah, and he's twenty now. now. Wait a oh my god, yeah. Girl. Yeah, game came out with my son. We yeah, my son was 11 when it came gosh, out. He's 21. Yeah. I know, I'm just asking. I still don't let him play it. No. Spirit <laughs> yeah. exercises his body. Yeah. And Can my 14 year old nephew just start playing? We are women. And oh boy. It's, it's a rite of passage, man. Okay, let's see what's up. This is going to be. Damn. This is when is Lamar answer? comes, yeah. Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. I She's still walking this shit now, man. That's just her. It's business. hard. Hey, don't we talk shit about your ain't man. It's hard. I mean, she cool you as You got to keep grinding. Man, come on. Come oh, yeah. We got to go pick up some shit. All right, so I'm going to cut you guys loose. Thanks for coming in. I want to cut you guys loose because we want to hear this. Let's hear this cut scene and see what's up. You need to walk. All right, I'll see you later. All right, bro, thanks. Okay, you tall son of a bitch. All right. For sure, but what you got a kidnapping fool? That clown D, that OG fool from Ballers. Dog, I told you, no more gangbanging retro vengeance bullshit. I'm trying to make some fucking paper. You gonna make some paper, bro? And the ain't freaking legend in the flesh, known in the like pixel. That. You gotta know the difference, man. Fuck, man, great. My aunt would be very happy, homie. She wants me dead anyway, so she can get the fucking house. You got the wheel, homie. Come on. If the 99% don't get off their ass, we'll all be fucked. You got those things. All right. Where'd he go? I wasn't paying attention. All right, let's go back here. All right. Thanks, buddy. See you later. Oh, that's where, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get in the van. Go up Vinewood Boulevard. Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Yo, annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I set up. Man, fuck this, man. You seen Tanisha? She's straight. It's me and you that ain't straight, though, homie. Dog, I know, homie. But look, I met this contact. This is not a good dude. idea to try to read comments dude, and drive at the this same time. Know the streets, homie. I know Mike, what are you thinking about home. GTA 6? I think it's going to be worth the wait, so just hang in there and wait for it. I know these streets. You know these streets. Man, all you know is dime bag hustling, credit cards. Well, Alexis says she started her dad play when she was like nine. You probably learned some good words back then, didn't you? Look, homie, I don't mind dying, you feel me? But I just want to die for something that matters, homie. That's what foreign gangsters should really be about. And I know this much, the motherfucking OGs ain't even giving a fuck about us, though. Man, fuck the OGs, Dean. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no motherfucking pyramid scheme. Wait, hold on. Listen to your boy one time. Listen to your boy. You want some paper, my nigga? This is what it's about. Check it out. I'm talking about 40,000. Nope. Ooh. Gotta no squeeze problem. through there. Two days. 
days time, no killing, nothing. No, just starting another beef with the fucking Someone ball, record nigga. this and post it on YouTube. Oh, I'll post it on YouTube. You don't need to record it. I've got, uh, I'm putting them all up on YouTube. I'm, I'm recording them here. And then, uh, I'll put it up on YouTube when I'm done. So you can go, I'll, I'll dump it there. So if you guys, if you know someone who doesn't have TikTok and wants to see it, you got a buddy or something, have them go to YouTube, subscribe and watch. Meanwhile, you guys subscribe too. I don't know what subscribing does, but, you know, I guess it lets you know when I post something, so... What's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short with it? I was just saying, I was trying to and holler at you. You ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why is it gotta be Lamar? Like, I'm an OG. And OG, so what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OGs. Well, over shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're gonna be begging for it, boo. That's disgusting. What's happening now, D man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. I ain't sharing no ass with the CGS. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Man, fuck y'all. Hey, ain't there a law against you, Mark ass, gangsters, insignia, mask wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, oh, nigga? Oh, shit. Bitch ass, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I'm out of here. Fuck y'all, bitch. That, nigga. Come on, let's go. In a van, we gotta go. He on a bike, man. We ain't gonna catch him. Just drive, fool. It's gonna get bumpy, chop. OG's getting away. Let's get caught up with him here a little bit. What the fuck you say, some folk? We could have creeped up on this nigga. You see yourself, Franklin? He's a big black motherfucker. Nigga, your creeping days is over. We losing it. We ain't losing him. There you go. Hey, why we choose this mark, homie? I don't know. It's an opportunity. Why not? Man, I don't know. We just chasing a bit. I thought it might have been for a Damn it. You know what? I know exactly where he's nigga, freaking going, reason. man. Why am I that's just driving around? Way right there. Damn, you okay, Chop? He leaving us behind, fool. Shut up, Lamar. That's one thing about Lamar. Lamar can never shut up. But he's a funny OG's fucker, so he cares. Next time we going after the motherfucker in the car, all right? All these punk ass bikes. We losing it. We ain't losing them. I see him. If we snatching this dude, we snatching his ass right. Remember the homies around the block? Man, the homies is lame. Yeah, so we not. Cops on their cell phone as soon as they made the ransom call. Trying. That's one thing. I, I wish that when. Uh... Oh. Related to signal, ghetto birds all over the place. Surveillance, my nigga. Man, take time. Go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass still with your feet kicked up. Come on, chop. Come on. Go bite his ass. Get that motherfucker, chop. Get him. Now here, I can switch to chop, which is really fun. This is the first time you get to play chop. Here. Where you going? Not the pooch, okay? The ransom's still the same, even if you got a bite taken out your ass. Just like sprint training. What the fuck? Fuck. Come on, boy. Find that fool. 
Here we go. Go play chop. Hey, Chop, that smell like a baller. Man, this one. I got your ass. Man, fuck. Where is he, boy? Come on, where is he? Motherfucker empty. Come on, smell that stinky motherfucker. You got a whiff of him, Chop? You smell that motherfucker, boy? Hey, where you going, boy? Oh man, that ain't what we after. Down, boy. <laughs> you better not be chop. Go get, get him there, some. Chop. Go, chop. Come on, chop. Get off there, man. We got shit to do. Shit, chop. Man, that's a. This ain't time for humping, chop. Come on, man. <laughs> Lamar show ain't been training your ass, has he, boy? Come on, man. Back to business. Get the bad guy. Come on, Chop. Come on, boy. I'm gonna start. We in this together, one. Chop. Let's go. You in here? I'm gonna find you, motherfucker. Sniff him out. Stop running, dog. Get the dogs, nigga. Oh shit! Screw that dog, man. <laughs> Don't hump him. Bite his ass, chop. Get him. Now, nah, man. Ah. Yeah, chop. I'll come. I'll fuck up. Shut up, up up, up, man. That bitch just fucking bit me, man. Shut the fuck up. Hey, man, get over here. Oh shit. What the fuck, man? I ain't got no beef with the CGF. Because maybe we doing our own thing. What the fuck, what the man? Fuck in the fan, punk? Shit. Hey, Lamar Davis, is that you, nigga? Nigga, shut the fuck up. Just get in. Yeah, that's you, nigga. Ah, fucking idiot. Shit. I said Go. I had no beef, man. Shut the hey, fuck up. Hey, man, what the Watch fuck? Watch you, boy. Get this fucking dog Come away from me. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> Lamar takes his mask off because he's so stupid. Hey, if you don't train Chop, he going to be a lost cause like you, dog. We gonna stash this dude in my spot. We going back to your crib? I've been there when you was in diapers. Shut up, man. You ain't recognize me. I knew it was you before you took that flag off. You always <laughs> been dumb, Lamar. Really? Well, I guess that means we gonna have to shoot your ass when we pick up our 40 stacks. You ain't gonna pick up shit. Fans gonna be on you before you can even move, nigga. Be quiet. I gotta make a call. Got your boy. You calling them on a cell phone, you dumb motherfucker? They gonna trace this shit in a second. We want 40,000. Just pay me or pay the funeral director, motherfucker. What the fuck you done done? You just gave them our location. Now we gotta let this motherfucker out of here. I'll be seeing y'all soon. The only reason you've been seeing shit cause we went easy on your ass. Remember that, dawg. This some bullshit. Take me down the cut. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? I was getting us paid. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? That was a good phone. A good phone? The cops was all over, nigga. I could have swallowed my car trying to triangulate that. It's too late. Shit's done. At least I saved you the indignity of pulling apart your shit. Nigga, I ain't afraid to get my hands dirty, old precious motherfucker. <laughs> All right, motherfucker. You the motherfucker. You better watch out. Oh, my God. The cops gonna be on your ass, too. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. I'm a motherfucking gangster. You know how I do. 
I can take care of my sizzle. No, the fuck you kids ain't. All right, you know what that is? All right, so if you guys you know never heard that, I can take care of my of my uh, sizz elf. No, you kids ain't. That's pig Latin. We were we were actually talking about that in uh, Brazil. Pig Latin started like back in the 40s. You know, it was a way for uh, guys in the prison to be able to talk to each other without the guards understanding what they were saying. So that's where that came from. The you know. No, you kids ain't, and, you know, that that's no, you can't, you know, and uh, you take the first letter of, of the word and, you know, you, you put it on, you know, you, you put an is in there, like for what they're doing is they're putting an is in there, no, you kids ain't, so the C comes from the can't, it goes in front of the kids, and then it ends with the ant, so kids ant, that's pig Latin, anyway, that's your lesson for today. So, uh, all right, so that mission. Everything is actually Michael. Yeah, oh, that's I funny. Well, I got a funny story. Yeah, so I go ahead. This account. I started this account in like uh, like three years ago, and yeah. the funny thing was, your niece was my math teacher. Oh yeah, who uh -huh. Megan? Yeah, Megan. And we were born. Oh, so you're where are you in Danville or Catlin or where? Where does she oh, teach? Yeah, Oakwood. In Danville now. Ah, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, I know. So I just started like posting GTA edits and stuff, and it kind of blew up. So. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I know. That's cool. So what's going on back home, man? Uh, the town is pretty much still. Hey, it's going to shit, but yeah. Yeah, well, it's a good town, but it's just it, it going was, through rough times. Yeah, going through rough times. What uh, did you get an A in math, or did it make it flunk you? Uh, I got a B both years in her class. <laughs> she good. She good teacher. Careful. Yeah, she's a great teacher. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, she's funny. She live streams. Yeah, I know. Uh, she has a live stream on Twitch. I've watched a few times. Yeah. Yeah, she plays. She plays goofy games. Does goofy stuff. You yeah, know, like she's... League of Legends and stuff. Yeah, yeah. She's she's pretty. Uh, she's pretty funny though, man. She's her live streams good. Everybody should go watch it. It's uh, what is it? M. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Megan M. L. on yeah. Twitch. That's my niece. She uh, she live streams on Twitch. So. Yeah, really cute redheaded gal. Yeah, she made math kind of fun, so I'll give her that. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. You want to, you know, it's hard to make math fun, but, you know, but that's good. So, uh, what's up, dude? What are you, uh, are you doing the whole, uh, is that your deal now? You just the whole, uh, streaming or whatever it is you're doing, the uh, GTA thing? Yeah, I'll, like, uh, live stream the GTA 5 story mode, and then I'll, like, uh, I'll just post GTA clips and stuff on my page, and it just, you know, some of it blows up, some of it doesn't, but yeah. So what are you going to do when, when 6 comes out? You're going to have to change, oh. your, change your name to whatever the guy's name is. <laughs> I don't know about that. I might just leave it Michael DeSanta. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, all right. I always mute Michael DeSantis because they're not really Michael DeSanta. Yeah, but, no, you know. really, they're not. But I made it. <laughs> I like yeah, that. Was <laughs> and I saw your name was like real underscore Ned Luke. So when I first yeah. made the account three years ago, I made it real underscore michael underscore desanta oh good job good job good job well we got slick steve coming in here now too what's up slick hey, what's up? nada nada hey, i just want to say that uh it's been a 
been fun 10 years on GTA and not going live. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it, man? The, 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 the longevity. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, the way the legs this game has is it's crazy, man. There's no game had this kind of legs. You know, one, one, you know, there's, there's games that, that have, you know, multiple iterations of it that, you know, have legs, but just one particular title, you know, in a series, like, you know, it, it's, it's incredible how, how, but that's GTA Online, though, you know, I mean, GTA Online is, uh, GTA Online's crazy, man. I mean, it's, oh, it's, yeah. you know, there's people that, there's What's people up, that man? have, hey, uh... Top guy stay around your crib for a while, it's homie. It's toxic cool. on there. I'm yeah, not gonna man, lie, it's man. cool. It's what? It's pretty toxic on there. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, well, it can be. It can be, but, you know, if you just chill and just keep doing your deal, you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you, you can always go into a different session or... Yeah, I mean, you also can sell all your stuff in the private sessions now, so that's pretty good. Yeah, and if you got a crew, you can go to a different crew, I mean, a different session, you know, a private session and play with your crew and stuff and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run this guy over. But, uh... Yeah, it could be, you know, there's griefers, there's griefers, there's spawn campers, you know, I always like to tell the story where I got stuck on a beach and uh, had some spawn camper. Every time I, every time I respawn, you know, he had a, he had a uh, sniper rifle and he would just pop me, you know, I would respawn, he'd snipe me, respawn, snipe, respawn, snipe, and, uh, man, that dude got trucked, and, uh, you know, that was it and i i was stubborn you know i was like you know no i'm not gonna quit i'm gonna keep going man i'm gonna see if i can beat this guy and i kept trying to get to safety somewhere or cover you know and i ended up 3 30 in the morning it was like 83 to 6. <laughs> yeah i remember this one time i was in all my session i mean i was like a few blocks away and i was just I'm sitting around running around. And this guy's shooting me through buildings and everything he's got like a whole thermal helmet on and everything and i'm like I'm sitting here like, how are they doing that? Oh, yeah, that was me. Uh, <laughs> I don't do a lot of spawn camping. That's the that's the thing. I don't do a lot of griefing. I If I get mad, I'll, I'll start like this. I'll get on my oppressor and just start trying to kill people. Oh, uh, yeah, the flying broom sticks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I use that thing to get around because you get around oh, fast, on, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, ever since that came out, I don't think I've ever driven around in like a regular car into a mission or anything. I just take my press out and just fly over there. It's much faster. Yeah, well, that's gonna be good. Let's see what Mikey's up to here. Thank you, Michael. Awkward as always. That is awkward Amanda. as the sex. I really wouldn't remember. Bye now. <laughs> Vicky, man. Vicky Van Tassel, VVT, man. She was so funny. So funny, man. She's like, God, just something else, man. She was so much fun. Not as much fun as my real life, but she's fun. You know what's funny is like just a little uh, trivia is that my actual wife in real life, you know, man is like yoga, yoga, yoga. My wife, in real life, I've got yoga instructor. Of that headshot, God. Oh. No that was a fun mission. <laughs> Namaste. Yeah, I, you know, I I don't know how fun the mission was, but the, the lead up to it, the cutscene was good, you know, with the whole, the, like the Nama go fuck yourself, that was an improv, I improv that, and uh, that became kind of an iconic line, kind of cool, and then somebody, did somebody say yoga, that, you know, ran throughout all the way to when Trevor appears, but, uh, do I tell her to Nama go fuck yourself, who, my wife? Uh, I've been able to do that maybe once in a while, Margaret, but uh, after I do that, she generally hits me with a baseball bat, so not a very good idea. So, let's see. Ned, please let me join your live. Claws. Claws the Mad. All right, who do I let go, Michael or Slick? Uh, I don't know. I've got one, I mean, I've got one you guys play. You what? i got a, a two guys play in the bottom of have you ever given any thought about, like, ever participating in a GTA Online DLC? Have I given any thought to it? Yeah. 
Well, truthfully, what I think doesn't matter is, is whether or not Rockstar is giving any thought to it. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's that's the bottom line. I mean, if they, it, you know, and, and even if I had, you know, I, I can't really talk about it. You can't talk about anything, you know, because we got the non-disclosure agreements and stuff. So, uh, I would just say, you know, there's been one, you know, Trevor's been on there and Franklin's been on there. And, you know, pretty much every other freaking character has been on there, so we'll see what happens. Hey, Ned, I have a question for you. Yeah? What's your opinions on Boss Man Fuck the World? Boss Man Fuck the World? I don't give that guy a second thought. He's, uh, you know, whatever. I, there's so many of those guys. It's not just him, you know. I, I just singled him out one time on an Instagram Yeah, I, I singled him out one time on an Instagram Live. With, uh, I think I was with uh, Solo on that one. And, uh, you know, that went kind of whatever, viral or whatever. But, you know, these guys, you know, they'll take a comment and, you know, make a 15-minute video on it. You know, God bless them. They're making money, right? Oh, well, they're making yeah. a lot of money. Like, Yeah, that's their thing. They're they're <laughs> making a lot of money with misinformation and, and speculation yeah. and all that kind of stuff. I think it's clickbait. But, oh, yeah. you know, hey, if people are dumb enough to click on their shit, then, mm -hmm. you know, more power to him, you know. I don't, I don't, you know, take anything away from him. He's, you know, him or the other guys. You know, there's a bunch of those guys. You know, there's this guy. Uh, what's his name? Something like Piper Big UBA oh, yeah. or whatever he is. You know, he's he's you know he's a funny guy. He does the the playthrough and screams. You know, he's never in in never in. Uh, protective custody or witness protection, you know, and everything, and you know, whatever. I get a thousand questions. Michael and witness protection. Is he in witness protection? This guy wants to know. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? Whatever. But yeah. So yeah, I don't pay a lot of attention to those guys. You know, one time, you know, and people, this oh, Dark Viper A U question mark question mark. Yes, Caleb, that's the guy. Dark Viper. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, and he's funny. He's a good dude. I guess he's a speed player or something like that. But yeah, he's all right. He's like yeah, but you know the only guys when, when you hear it from Rockstar, that's when you'll know what's happening. You know when you when you turn on your TV and you're watching, uh, you know, I don't know the Grammys or something, and and you see that, or you know the uh, beat the uh, video game awards, and all of a sudden you see a, uh, you know six up there, or whatever. You know it's it's then you know something's happening, but until then. I'll tell you another thing too is there's there's you know we're on strike the actors are on strike against the studios right now but you know there's negotiation going on with the video games too I mean it's possible that a strike's going to happen so any video game not just six but any video game if if they don't complete shooting you know before they go out on strike you know everything's going to get shut down so yeah. who knows who knows how you know what's going to happen but anyway. Let me get back, cause I'm gonna get rid of you guys, and uh, maybe bring somebody else in. Hey, I, I, I'm glad my I'm glad my niece didn't flunk you out there. Yeah, like, I know she's a great teacher. Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. Bye. Slick. We'll Bye. see you later, dude. Thanks yep. for getting in here. Yep. All right. Take care, man. Let's bring in a couple other people here. Let's see. Hi, Ned. Can I join? Who are you? Let's see. Can I join? Can I join? Can I join? Uh, here's a guy here who's not going to get here. He says, let me in. Never Phillips wants to know if he can join. No, no I chose A, motherfucker. Uh, person who makes anything. Yeah, got a lot of please let me joins here. All right, let's look here. Let's just find some people. Goody is coming in. You there, Goody? Goody and Sam. Sam Sork. See if you guys are still out there. You in here, Goody?
All right, I gotta get moving here before I get penalized for idle. Who's that, Sam? Is that Sam or Goody? That's me. That's Sam. All right, Goody's not saying anything. We're gonna we're gonna dump Goody. I'm your biggest fan. You are. Thank you so. Much. Get in line, man. So many people are my biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, man. You done something amazing. You think you made the best game. You're part of something amazing. You are an inspiration to so many people, especially me, man. Well, thanks, You're man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, I, I'll tell you, I, and I and I'm buying it because we just went to uh, Solo, and I just went to Brazil. Uh, Sean Fontino, who plays Franklin. We went to the Brazil game show this past weekend. And if, if you go to my Instagram, I mean, look at the crowds. 350,000 people came through. Yeah. And, and of those 350,000, I would say that we probably had at least 100,000 of those people, you know, come through wherever we were. You know, added up like the different things we did, uh, whether it was a panel or cosplay judging or uh, meet and greet, you know, whatever, or just walking through the crowd. You know, like after after we judged cosplay, you know, we were there for another 25 minutes signing autographs, taking pictures, you know, with fans that were just, you know, you know, rushing the catwalk. You know, yeah. same thing when we did when we would do our uh, our meet and greet and stuff like that in our in our uh, panels you know so it's amazing the breadth of this game how it how people yeah hard hands thanks uh you know how far it reaches and, and it's not i don't know where are you sam where do you live uh, i live in sweden right now you where i'm in sweden right now sweet yeah so there you go you know you've got sweden uh sweden and then you've got, you know, Brazil where we were. You know, you see people on here that are from Australia, from, you know, of course, the United States. You got women, you got dudes, you got, you know, everybody. It's like, it's it's just amazing how far this game reaches, you know? And especially an English language game that has so much uh, stuff in it, you know, like, like that's, pertinent to the United States, you know, that, that some people might not actually understand, you know, from another country. So, yeah, I appreciate it, dude, and, and, and we appreciate it like crazy, which is why we went to Brazil and, you know, had a blast, you yeah. know. We didn't even get to interact with everybody that we could have. I mean, when we were signing autographs, you know, they had to cut the line off because we were going to go do uh, a panel and there was probably, I don't know, I, I would guess at least probably 500 people in line. And they said, okay, you can stay and get autographs from the next guys, or you can, you know, go watch the panel. And the line emptied out. It's insane. So, amazing. I mean, yeah, it really is. The, like, the right lakes. Now, I'm like, I'm like shaking. I'm huh? shaking right now. You're shaking right now. Don't no shake, man. I'm just a dude, man. Trust me. <laughs> I'm the most normal. I'm the most normal, abnormal dude you ever met. So I believe that, man. That you're such yeah. an inspiration to so many people. My friends, like, we go around. We say your quotes and stuff. And we'll say this one. I know you know. Now, now, how old are you? I'm 15. You're 15? Yeah. One five. Well, you shouldn't even be playing this game yet, dude. I gotta have a talk. Oh, with you. I gotta have a talk with your folks about that. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. contributing to the delinquency of a minor here. But you know yeah, what the thing is, is that it's a. Uh, this game is kind of a rite of passage for kids. You know, there, there's, and I say this all the time. We get, we get. And I'm gonna let you go here, Sam. Thanks for thanks for coming yeah. on. Thank Want to get some so other much. people in? Yeah. Thank you so much, man. You got it, man. Hey, play me well, bro. But, you know, you know, of, of fans, you know, every year, and I say this in almost every interview, you know, some mom somewhere says, you know, you know, breaks down and goes, all right, fine, you can get the game. Jesus, leave me alone. Quit asking. You can get the game. It's a rite of passage for kids, you know, and 
I, I don't recommend young kids playing the game. I, I remember I did an interview when the game came out. They said, you know, your son's 11, all this violence and everything. What do you, you know, think about that? I said, well, my son's not playing until he's in college. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's, if your parents are going to let you play it or, you know, whatever, you know, I always say, play the game, don't be the game. But, you know, whatever. Let's see what this, uh, oh, this is one of Franklin's thing. That's where he meets the uh, paparazzi guy. All right, let's find a mission here. Enough talk. I want to do another mission here before I uh, get out of here and and go. Uh, let's go to Michael's house. I think I don't know what happens when I go here. Probably something. All right. My. Uh, All right. So here we go. What does this say? I played with my five-year-old when it dropped ten years ago. He turned out fine. Yeah, Candelicious, as far as you know. <laughs> if you're smart, you can play at any age. Oh, my God. That's funny. I always get the thing like, like, uh, can you give a shout-out to my son? He's five. He's turning five on Sunday. And... Uh, He's a mature five, you know, <laughs> but I won't ever do shout outs for kids that are like that young, but you know, whatever. But yeah, we saw a bunch of them at, uh, you know, at, at Brazil Game Show just, and by the way, that was the first stop. That was the first stop. Solo and I are doing a 10th anniversary tour. We're going to hit some Comic Cons and stuff. And that was the first stop on the tour. Right now, we're, uh, I think, I think we're going to be in Connecticut. We're going to be in Phoenix trying to Sam stop shaking uh, <laughs> and uh, you know who knows where else we're gonna go Dublin maybe uh, you know we're gonna try to get into as many places as we can so if you got a local comic-con you want to see us get on them get on them start bugging them to get us in there say hi to me I've been saying it for over an hour well, what if I say no, and you got to wait another hour, Maggie? Hey, Maggie, what's happening? How are you doing? <laughs> Sorry you waited so long. I love you, Jimmy. Oh, All right, let's see what this is. Oh, this is Jimmy. My favorite line. If, if, I hope you guys heard that. Uh... Are you playing something like, who are you, dude? Or what, what are you, a hamafra dude or something? Someone born without genitals? That that was an ad lib that Danny did, who plays Jimmy, Danny Tamborelli. And I was sitting down here, and when he said that, I busted out laughing. And we had to redo it. And they're like, yeah, leave that in. But yeah, hamafra dude. I, I, I love that, man. I think if he said that now, we'd probably all get in trouble. But, you know, it's a different world. So anyway, here we go. This is my first real explosion coming up here. I mean, I'm trying to watch old movies here. Come on. Jimmy! God damn it. What the fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for like this, some cock that. Go away. What? And go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Parenting 101. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. <laughs> nothing at all. Oh, man. I'm sorry. 
just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. <laughs> bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Oh my god. You know I have bad glands. <laughs> That's another great line. The writers on this game are, are, are they're just phenomenal, man. It was uh Dan Hauser, Rupert Humphrey, Michael Holmes. I mean, they, they were so funny, man. DJ Pooh. It, it's just like Laszlo. I mean, it, it's the, the stuff is ridiculous. Will you be in Boston? I hope so. Please come to Boston. She said no. Maybe you come home with me. Well, never mind. Sorry, I'm dating myself. Uh, what console are you on? I play on all of them. Right now I'm on PC. But uh, what other games have you played besides GTA? Have you also played the older GTA games? Well, Josh, I'll tell you. Fucking A. Yeah, I've, I've been gaming since, you know. Dude, I was around when Pong came out. I don't think you guys, if you guys don't know Pong, a little knob, you go boom, boom, boom. It's basically tennis, you know, with... with Boop, 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 boop. You had to move the knob, get the guy, hit the ball, you know, and we'd go faster and faster, ricochet. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I didn't have a console back then. We could afford one, you know. So, I, I, I whatever it was, it was on, uh, God, what was it on? Nintendo? No. Uh, I can't remember. But, all right, I'm going to pause this thing for a second. Hello. What are you doing? I'm streaming. Look, it's Bubba. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. All right. Let me call you right back. I'm about done. <laughs> All right. That was my that was my son calling. I'm gonna call him back. I'm gonna finish this up here in a minute anyway, and uh. What was I talking about? I don't even remember now. But it's the peak of my day. It's the peak of my day, Joshua Weaver. Don't ask me about any wars. I have no opinions on that. And if I do, I won't share them. Have I played Red Dead Redemption? Oh, I was talking about video games. My favorite video game of all time, okay, even above Grand Theft Auto V, Red Dead Redemption, of any of them, and I've played all the GTAs, by the way. Grand Theft Auto, I started with Grand Theft Auto 1. It wasn't called Grand Theft Auto 1 then, but I don't remember if it was on the PlayStation or PlayStation 2. I, think, I believe it was on just the original PlayStation, which I still have, by the way. I've got in my collection in the house, in my game room, I've got PlayStation PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. So, and then I've also got Nintendo Switch. Uh, we've got Game Boy. We've got uh, Nintendo DS. And we got all the games, okay? So, we played. That was a, a, a way to bond with my son back in the day. But we played on PS2. My favorite game of all is SSX Tricky. It's a, a surfboard game. Or, uh, 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 not surfboard. <laughs> that was what I did. Snowboard game. So, it's these guys snowboarding. And you race, you jump, you stunt, you trick. And it is a blast, man. I love that. I still love that game. When Bubba comes home, sometimes we'll, uh, you know, we'll get out the PS2 and we'll play. And, it's, and, and you can play multiplayer. You can play two guys, you know. So, so we can play against each other. And for a long time, you know, I own the leaderboard. I don't own leaderboard anymore. I mean, I mean, Bubba's unbelievable in that game. He he's you know if he doesn't score a million on a thing, then it's it's like you know he screwed up. But anyway, yeah, SSX tricky. That's my favorite game of all time. Have I played Red Dead Redemption? Yes, I've played Red Dead Redemption. I played Red Dead Revolver. I played Red Dead Redemption Two. You know, I didn't know who the developer were on these games when when I got the call from my agent to audition for Grand Theft Auto V. It wasn't called Grand Theft Auto V. They had a secret name for it. It's very hush-hush. Uh, I think it was called uh, Rush for me. But anyway, I didn't know what it was. And I wasn't going to audition for a video game because, you know, I was an actor. And uh, 
And then she said, well, you know, it's by Rockstar. And I'm like, who the hell is Rockstar? Because I, I, I played the games, but I didn't pay attention to who developers were. You know, I mean, I knew EA Sports because when I played Tricky, it would go EA Big. Or the other one, EA, it's in the game, you know. But Rockstar doesn't do any of that shit. They just put up their little logo, you know, and then that's it. So I didn't pay any attention to that. And then she says, you know, they, they do games like, you know, Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption. And I said, oh, well, send me over the material. And when I looked at the material, you know, it was so good. I was just like, yeah, of course I'm going to go audition for it, you know. But um, that was, you know, how I got into this game. But yeah, I played games. I, I've been a gamer for a long time. I'm not a good gamer, but I've, I've been a gamer for a long time. Uh, Red Dead 2 stream soon. I don't know. You never know. You never know. Maybe. Maybe I do that. The ringtone. Yeah, that's my ringtone for Bubba. Let's see. Uh, Bad Boy Riff or whatever it is. Um, all right. So let's, let's do this real quick. Okay, Dad. I got just the thing to show you. Go to the bike rental this stand. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go. So well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh. Turn this off, so. Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house. Oops. Oh, After that boat stop. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death. <laughs> I and can't even get out of my driveway. I need to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so unbelievably fucked. Yeah, get my. Oh, I can get my glasses on. Seriously, some guys borrowed All right. Now you can see what I'm doing. You were hiding in the head, crying kid. All right, here we go. If it was anything other than what you told me, now I'm paying attention. All right, they fucking stole it, and who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm gonna let some guys right off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but oh, a bad guy, a crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just what? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt planet your generation have left us if you're the good guy. Yeah. Anyway, I always <laughs> knew you were the kind of person who didn't let other people get in the way, but I hadn't, like, seen that happen before. Yeah, well, that's me, Jim. And I've been trying my best to get things under control for the last ten years. But that was an extreme fucking situation, and I had to act. A normal person wouldn't have done that. Yeah, well, I had to. Oh, come on, with the driving skills. I had to. To protect you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. Ooh, heavy drama right there, man. That's a good line when you see their faces every time you close your eyes. The thing is, uh, he doesn't see their faces every time you close your eyes. Is it weird playing, having playing yourself? I get kidding. You, you got it. You drive it. It makes you play yourself. What? Hang on. What does that say? You got it. You can drive. I mean, come on. It's you for God's sake. You're playing yourself. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> the problem is I'm looking at these messages while I'm doing it. Is it easy to immerse yourself as Michael when you hear yourself, says Daniel. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Ned is a non-native speaker. I learned a lot of English because of GTA when I was little. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Oh, that reminds me, too, is what I should do here is I should have the subtitles on while I'm doing this because I'm talking a lot. And All right. Look out. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. <laughs> hey, you. Two bikes. Take your pick. This one will do. If I make it to the end of the pier first, you're going to find me a... You ain't making it to the end of the pier first, Jimmy. So Jimmy, played by Danny Tamborelli. If you guys ever heard of... He, Danny was a child star. 
he was uh, in the Mighty Ducks. He was Pete and Pete. Uh, all that, I think. Uh, anyway, he was all kinds of stuff. He is a funny dude, man. He's one of the funniest kids I know. God, I can't drive straight. Fuck this, I'm going to cross. This controller, man, this controller is so responsive. Where the hell's Jimmy? Am I beating him that bad? Oh no, there he is. Uh oh, I better get out of the sand. Alright, I'm gonna ride this bike up the stairs to see if that happens. This could cost me to race. Maybe not. Oh, I got it! Go straight, dummy. Go straight! Where do I gotta go? Oh no! Oh no! It's gonna cost me! Get on the bike! Get on the bike! Alright. Be a normal human being. Yeah, I'm losing. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to cheat. All right, well, this isn't about the race anyway. Jimmy needs a new TV. God, this control, I cannot make this controller go straight. There we go. Good Lord, Jimmy's probably been there for about a half an hour. All right, Jimmy and your bad glance. Number one, pal, you owe me a TV. Hey. I never agreed to that. <laughs> no, this is real nice, Dad. So, pay attention here because when you see me throat the guy and toss him off the boat here, that's the same guy who plays Fabian. <laughs> so, that's just a little insight there. Uh, really good dude. I can't remember his name. But, yeah. Bonding. Good times. Yeah, well... I'm giving it my best shot. Hey, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford, so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. Nice. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? <laughs> Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft. You know the kind of boat. The one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. Nice, Jimmy. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! This is the coolest thing, man. The whole underwater deal, man. It's like... I, I don't know of another game that had that. Where you could dive underwater like that. And, you know, swim underwater. I love doing that. I need to... Alright, how long have I been on this thing? Good God. An hour and 24 minutes. Alright. Let's see if I can complete this mesh mission. Daddy's little girl. Let's go save her. Ha, ha, ha. 
Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's hey, Javier. You think I Xavier. Did? Hey, no. Hey, hey, cool, man. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, oh, man! Come I on. like that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! McCall <laughs> Simmons. Who yeah, plays Tracy? If you ever wanted to hit hit like someone over the head, that would be Tracy. <laughs> God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Going to the outlet! If you say so, Trace. down here. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when the TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Go, go, keep going. Back off, assholes. How do I do it? Right there. Looks like this is the way out. You're a menace. I couldn't make my gunfire. I think I need a different controller, man. This controller's fucked up. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I can't remember. I can't remember how to do it. Oh, and G, they're coming. Okay, there's Don't my weapon. The there I am. All right, all right. Go away before my dad kills you. Okay, him. that's how I should. He's just injured. They're both dead. I can't believe this. Well, yeah, take whatever. a deep breath, baby. It's okay. I'm taking you back to your brother. There we go. Now I remember how to shoot. I'm an like I said, I, I was here. the worst. I'm no, the worst drive and shoot guy on the planet. To Have I like got to be a witness because I I like did some blow. You did blow. All right, where's Jimmy? Where is that fat fucker? Oh, yeah! he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV and he took me to the beach. The Just beach the kind of kids I wanted. Skin. So what, you sent him out to the beach with my skin. Too? I didn't know that he was going to come get you. I just told him where you were. And he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes and he just went. I'm getting a cat. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Oh, my God. Who would have thought? Always, yeah, always blame the controller, Jonathan Candelaria. Yeah, you're right. Always blame the controller. It's not, it could, couldn't possibly be my fault. No, but I do have to get used to this new controller because it's got these paddles underneath, you know? And, and like, every once in a while I'll hit... I'll hit one that makes me like jump off of whatever I'm driving or whatever, you know. Or, you know, I think this one punches. Yeah, that one punches. So I'll do that. But what I wish, what I wish is that we had one that was uh, that I could program this button to just shoot. You know, this one aim, this one shoot. That would be awesome. But anyway. Uh, Guys, to hide chat, hold the screen and press, press clear display. 
Michael can't catch a break. Yeah, you're right, John. He can't, man. It's fucking rough life for that dude. All right, so I'm going to bring in... That's the last mission I'm going to do right now. And then uh, I'll bring in a couple guys and, uh, you know, finish this bad boy up. Let's see. When is Michael being added to Fortnite? Connor Fox. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, I guess probably never. Hard one, yeah. And he shot Michael, but he survived, and Brad was put into Michael Gray. Okay. You guys are having your own conversation. So, oh, here we go. What did you choose at the end? A, B, or C? Hard one. I got to tell you, I've played them all. Okay, first of all, I played every one of them. But when I first played the game the very first time, I knew what the ending was. I knew all the endings. And the ending that made the most sense to me was A. And I killed fucking Trevor. I killed his ass dead or shit. Burned him alive. And uh, to me, I still think that's the best ending. But you have to... Uh, it, when you kill Trevor, you have to don't have Franklin shoot and and you know set the fire off. You got to have Michael do it because when Michael does it, uh, if you wait, you know, if you wait, Trevor won't shoot or uh, Franklin won't shoot, and then Michael will take the shot, and that's that's when the uh, uh, ending, the cutscene after that makes the most sense. It really flows out of that. If you have Franklin do the killing, then all that stuff kind of, it doesn't track as well as it does as if you have um, Michael kill him. So go back and kill Trevor and see what I'm talking about. Christian Joseph, big fan, Luke. Can you say hi to me? Hello, Demanza. Demanza, I just did. All right, so let's invite somebody. <clears throat> uh, let's do, uh, Let's see if you're still in here, all these people. Let's see. That's history. We don't want history. Hey. Invite. I'm just going to go down here and pick a random person. See if you're there. Let's try Gusto. Doesn't look like he's going to take his invitation. Uh, how about you, Luna? Luna Rose, come on in here. Let's go. No? All right. So people are shy. They don't want to come in. I wish I could just invite from the from the chat because you got all these people saying, I want to come in. I want to come in. You guys, if you want to get in here, you got to request to get in. All right? Request to get in. And then you come up like Savannah right here. She's going to get in here because she just requested to get in. Hey, Savannah. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I didn't think I'd get in. I'm kind of freaking out right now. You Well, you got in. Don't freak out because you're in. Can you say the line for me? What Can I say the line for you? Yeah, the line. Do you, do you know how bad I don't like that line? <laughs> Although I've grown to love it. I've, I've grown to love it. But when we were shooting the game, I didn't want to say that line. I thought it was corny. I thought it was like, uh, I don't know. I just didn't like it. You know, it, was, it, it, it felt trite and contrived to me. But, you know, the director was like, Ned, they want you to say this line exactly as written because I tried to do it many different ways, you know, to make it work for me. Like I threw in some ad libs and stuff and they're like, well, we want you to say it exactly as it's written. And I was like, fuck, man. And I kept doing it, kept doing it. Finally, it, it hit me because I couldn't find the rhythm on it. And I snuck a pal in, I think. And it became, you forget a thousand things every day, pal. How about you make sure this is one of them? And then it became easy. And I could say, you forget a thousand things every day. Make sure this is one of them, which was the actual line. And, you know, so, and, you know, 
ride, the director was like, trust me, Ned, this is the line. This is going to be iconic. It's going to be, you know, the one everybody wants. And, hey, that's why they're a rock star. They freaking know, man. They know. Yeah. That's the line that everybody <laughs> wants. Huh? He did make it very iconic. Yeah, now where are you? Where am I? Yeah. New Mexico. New Mexico. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Lobos. Yeah. The Lobos in I actually Mexico. just started playing the game, and I'm exactly where you're at right now. Oh, are you? Is this yeah. the first time you've played it, or is, or oh, have you played no. it before? I've finished it. I finished it like ten times already. Oh my god! You know, it's amazing how many female fans we have, and how many how many you know girls, women, whatever, love this game. When we were in when we were in Brazil, it was I was blown away by how many you know uh, uh, females would come up and want pictures and want. And, and they should be shaking because they were so excited. And, and I'm like, you know, gamer girl, I like it. That's cool. What's your favorite mission? Do you have a favorite mission? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Wash, I don't know about that either, Wash. Uh, you know, DLC, if I told if I, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you about they want to know if they got a DLC coming out. Um, anyway, uh, which is best, Trevor or Franklin, uh, Franklin. So, uh, what was your question? <laughs> oh, favorite mission. Favorite mission yeah. is, you know, to play is probably the big one because <laughs> that's got the most action. It's crazy. It's wild, you know? And, uh, but if you're going to include cut scenes and stuff like that uh my favorite is well i got two of them probably bury the hatchet where i go to north yankton and deal with trevor and then because that cut scene's you know tremendous and you know steven was just like awesome in that it's just great to work with and stuff and then the other one is where i fess up to franklin that i'm working with the feds uh that was my favorite scene with with Solo, that was, I always say that's when Solo became an actor, because he was just so on point with that. And, uh, you know, I, I love that. It was an emotional scene where, you know, I got to actually show some vulnerability and stuff like that. And so it was kind of cool. It was fun. So there you go. That's them. I can tell you the mission I, I can tell you the mission I just did was far from my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one either, but it was very nice talking to you. I'll let someone else help up on here. All right. Look at how thank nice so Savannah much. is, huh? Can you believe it? All right, kiddo. Thank you. I don't know how to get rid of you, but, you know, actually I do. I got to bring multi-guest back up. And so that's it. I'm going to blow out of here. Uh, I've been on here way too long as it is. Thanks for watching. I'll put this up on YouTube. So if you've got friends that don't have TikTok or whatever, or you live in a country that doesn't have TikTok, and uh, you guys know somebody, whatever, then, you know, you can do it. Bro talking to himself, looking at the ocean. What do you think? Okay, JP7515, what do you think about the inspirations from the movie Heat? I can tell you this. I've never seen the movie Heat, so I don't know. But... If it was inspired by that, then okay. Arthur Morgan is you, says Go Blue. I wish Arthur Morgan was me. God, I would have loved to do Red Dead. I was in Red Dead, a little small cameo kind of thing. They took my voice out because they were afraid people would recognize me. But, you know, that I, I've always wanted to do a Western. I used to train horses when I was a kid. And I ride the hair off a horse. And I just, I just want to do a Western, man. I want to do a Western really bad. I want to get on... on uh, What's that one called? Uh, Yellowstone or something. So, you know, God, that would be awesome. If I could ride and be a cowboy, because I like it. But I'll tell you, Roger, Roger Clark, man, my dude, he fucking killed Arthur. And I don't think anybody else would be a better Arthur than he was. So, all right. So uh, we're going to take off. Hello from Scotland. Scotland, home of, home of Rockstar. 
Alexis. And that's it. So I'm out of here. Take care. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll put this up on my YouTube part three. See you later.